Well, good morning, everyone. Good to greet you on this Tuesday morning once again. Well, the month of May is coming to its close, and June will soon be with us. June is called the month of light, mainly because of the summer solstice. To have light, of course, is far better than to walk in the darkness. But June has come. We give thanks that the middle of the year has arrived, and that's a poignant thought when you think about it as well. There's an old saying, don't blow a clout till May is out. And that's quite wise as well. A clout was an old English word for a coat or a cloak. And of course, we've had lovely sunshine, but we've had a, a few mornings that have been quite nippy. So that's quite wise advice, of course. Last year, last May apparently, was the wettest May for many generations. But June is on the way, the summer month, and we look forward to that. John Steinbert, the great American author, said, of his favourite month, which was June. In June, the world of leaf and blade and flowers explored, and every sunset is different. Those are surely wise words. June this year, of course, will have its events, as do every month during the year. There'll be Father's Day, Glastonbury, the new King's official birthday, Royal Ascot, just to name a few. Remember those times in June when the examination season came upon us? Those halls filled with worried students those invigilators in the heat of the day. Why, that's my memory of the month of June in school anyway. And of course, time goes on. But one thing for sure, dear friends, there'll be no bank holidays this month. We had three last month. Well, that's something perhaps we would really rather regret because it was good to have those three days off. When we come to speaking of God's light and hope, we come back to what the Bible says. We know that as John Steinmet said, there will be a profusion of colour. The flowers will blossom. There'll be a greenery around. There'll be the beauty of God's creation, the blue skies like today. And we know that the sunshine will shine brightly during this month of summer. But the Bible also says that the grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of God remains. And that's our comfort. That's our assurance. Perhaps it's not summer for you at the moment. It may be the winter problems and concerns and anxieties which are weighing heavily upon you. Perhaps there are times we feel that God is not close to us. Well, we see him in the beauty of creation. Where are you, Lord, when perhaps I feel the weight of the world upon my shoulders? Even more so, we know that God will lead us. God will be with us. And that is the message of Pentecost, which we have been celebrating. The presence of Christ with us in all the changing scenes of our lives. So that's the assurance that we can have. It's, it is a blessed assurance. There's not always going to be sunshine. And you always know God's presence and peace, whatever the season, whatever the experience we have. For Jesus said, I will be with you even to the end of the age. There's an old song that says, June is busting out all over. Well, don't worry, I'm not going to sing it. But I want you to know that God is with you and that his presence will keep you and sustain you. And that with him it will be summer, light and joy. Do you know why? Because Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The light that will never, ever fade. Dear friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you wherever you are today. And I pray you will know his peace, his presence. But more than anything, his loving, tender mercy and care.